This is Ocean Crossing S rank. We're using a reverse joint energy shotgun build with plasma missiles. Alright, the main thing we need to worry about in this mission is the stage hazard. The boss at the end can be trouble, but it isn't too bad. Uh, the stage hazard, that is the lasers from God, are going to be the biggest obstacle here. Uh, you can avoid it for about 40-50% of the area where it could be a hazard. Uh, and we'll talk about that once we get to that point. Alright, so at the very first part here, instead of staying up, we're going to immediately drop down uh, below the main area and uh, go through this tunnel to avoid the stage hazard for a lot. Uh, there are enemies in this area, but as you can see, uh, as long as you're assault boosting or moving quickly enough, not a problem. Now, uh, this is the only place where you cannot avoid the, uh, the lasers that will target you. Um, for the most part, I found that as long as you're not directly assault boosting across, uh, you can avoid getting seen. Uh, so as long as you stay slow and steady, keep an eye out for those lasers, you can avoid uh, being targeted until the very end. All right, we're coming into the boss arena here. There is a group of enemies we need to deal with. Um, before the next stage of the mission will trigger, um, these enemies can uh, do suicide attacks that can cause a lot of damage, so uh, efficiently taking them out uh, before they can start charging at you is the uh, best way to deal with them. Um, you could resupply there if necessary, um, as long as you just snuck right on through, not necessary. Uh, this boss is a fun one. This boss is a little weird. Um, it has a lot of attacks that punish you if you're on the ground. Um, so what I've found is the best way to deal with this is to stay in its face and stay airborne as much as possible. Um, you will see this boss, like that attack right there, uh, whip out melee attacks uh, that will hit a small AoE behind you. Uh, the boss will also go into a um, hovering uh, mode as it's phase two, um, where it will uh, fire a bunch of lasers at the ground. Um, but as you can see, you just keep moving quickly, keep up the pressure. Um, this boss is not hard to stagger, uh, and this boss can go down rather quickly. So this is its hover phase, the pine cone butt. Uh, the pine cone shoots lasers at the ground. Uh, that'll do AoE, and it uh, leaves problems on the ground for you. It leaves uh, damage areas. So you want to stay in the air and avoid that. Um, you can probably do it way more efficiently than I am here in the video, but um, if you take anything away from my s rank guides, it's that you don't need to be perfect. Not even close. So Air says that, I don't know, I do not know if that explosion will hurt you. Better safe than sorry. Uh, you have all the time in the world to quick boost away or just slowly move out of the way. As long as you're not standing still directly below it, it shouldn't be a problem.
And then the last thing we need to do after beating the boss is hitting the button. Starts a long series of cutscenes, uh, followed by your ranking. By the way, tourist, your Walter's held, right? Well, I guess a dog can't choose its master. But still, tough luck. I feel sorry for you, I really do. You see it too, don't you? The voices of the coral. Currents coursing across Rubicon. Not done yet. Walter was correct in his judgment. here, in this desolate place. And there you can see your S rank. Um, as with every other S rank, it's all about being as quick as possible, using the least amount of ammunition possible, and taking the least amount of damage possible. Uh, but there are certain mixes that'll get you an S rank easier than others. If this video helped you, leave a like. Thanks.